Starting with a bang, roughly 27,000 runners competed Sunday in the 51st Honolulu Marathon. Kenya's Paul Lonyangata took first place with a time of just two hours, 15 minutes, and 42 seconds. I'm feeling so happy. Uh, Honolulu was very fantastic, very competitive, because everybody there was very strong. Cynthia Limo of Kenya was the female winner, finishing in two hours, 33 minutes. Jeremy Morgan was the first Hawaii resident to finish with a time of two hours, 38 minutes. <laughs> Meanwhile, Masazumi Sojima won his 14th Honolulu Marathon in the wheelchair division. <laughs> It's been a four years uh, since he was here last time, so I'm so excited. The marathon is often just as challenging for homegrown competitors as it is for out-of-state talent. I went to Ponho and ran track and cross country at Ponho in high school and middle school, and so I've been running all my life, and then, um, yeah, just wanted to challenge myself, see if I could do a marathon. I've done, like, marathons on the East Coast when, when the cold, but the, the heat is brutal here. The heat and, like, the hills running up Diamond Head at the end. Uh, it's the first time running the marathon. It was great. I think we got a little bit of a breeze, a little bit of rain in the morning. Just really psyched to be here. I've run the Great Aloha Run, and I've been meaning to do this for a long time. Um, I'm mostly a trail runner. I'm running Xterra on the island and just had to come back because it's a wonderful atmosphere. I just had to have Achilles surgery in January for something called Haglands. I think a lot of us runners have injuries, so just coming back from that is a, it's a big win. I was here in April and couldn't hike, and here I am in December, and I'm running a full 26.2. So I knew this was the race to do, and I've been so, so happy and blessed just to be here and be healthy to race against the very best in the world. Year after year, participants experienced the true Aloha spirit and Sunday was no exception. But where did you see something was wrong? He fell down like 50 yards before the finish line and he tried getting up and he just kept collapsing and then we both kind of hopped the fence at the same time and just carried him. He was so close to the end anyway. Yeah. It, um, there's no reason for him not to finish. Yeah. The Honolulu Marathon allows all participants to finish. There is no cutoff time. Eric Nacton, Island News.